today we will be recording these sessions for everybody who is on a Facebook Live and also those that uh, are just logging in. Just to let you know that at today's webinar, uh, I will be presenting with my co-host, Sheila Riikonen. Uh, here you are. Sheila is a venue finder and a meeting planner from the Helms Frisco organization. It's the world's largest procurement company. Um, we are presented in about 100 countries. And Sheila works with me in the Scandinavia and Baltics region. So welcome, Sheila. Thank you so much, Anna. This is indeed a very good timing. It's everyone's lunch break and just relax and grab your sandwich or coffee. I'm located right now in Usima, which is Espo. And we're so happy to be presenting one of our favorite brands today, which you will introduce. Definitely. Well, thank you, Sheila. So um, just a little bit about our work uh, and the remote tools that we are using at the moment. Um, since I just introduced that we are venue finders and meeting planners, um, our life has changed quite considerably you know, during the pandemic. So for the past, I would say 12 months, um, you will see how we have been location scouting and also uh, discussing with our clients on what type of venues are available for the future meetings, because we always book 12 to 24 months ahead I mean, larger events, uh, 150 to 2,000 people, I mean, they do take some time to plan. So the venue finding is one of the most crucial parts of, of uh, setting, whether it's a hybrid event or live event, um, that is the, I would say, the start of that planning and after you know approximately the budget and how many people you want to, to bring in the meeting. So here we are, um, we're in Helsinki. Uh, Espo, where Sila is located, is actually a neighboring suburb. Um, it's a city on its own, but it's very much, you know, attached to the Helsinki crater area. And I'm actually located in Turku, which is west coast, and uh, we are about two hours from each other. So, and this is how we work nowadays. So, what you're looking at here is the beautiful view on the harbor of Helsinki, you know, overlooking the archipelago, which connects to Stockholm as well. So I'm going to show you on an interactive map where exactly we are at this point. So as you can see, Helsinki and Helsinki Airport, the proximity um, is only about 40 minutes. And if we look at a little bit further for those that are from USA or, or from the Pacifics, um, and we've also have Asian guests, you know, regularly. Uh, so welcome. Um, you can see in which part of Europe we're also located. So as we are now commencing with our presentation, the virtual site visit, we are using Visualizer solution. And this enables us to really highlight those all important parts of the meeting planning. So let's go and see how that lobby area looks like and how we can check in uh, currently to the Clarion Hotel. So here we have a 360 view uh, of the entry. Our favorite reception area, isn't it, Sheila? It's true. Even during uh, last year, we had a few meetings of 20 people. Um, this lab is very familiar. Of course, it's uh, overlooking the old shipyard. So it's very historical and it's uh, almost everyone's favorite as we go along and progress to our site inspection today. Yes, yeah, I like the design and it's very airy. And here we see it's the same space in the evening. So the atmosphere is always really great. I mean, this one is from the Christmas time. So um, also very festive. And, uh, you know, you do get that kind of modern contemporary feel when you walk in with the huge glass windows uh, welcoming the guests into this space. And I'm going to turn the mouse so you can see the 360 view straight to the stairs. So these stairs actually lead to the meeting space, which we're gonna be looking at uh, more carefully today. And um, so imagine now doing a live side visit. So we are, as a group, walking up the stairs, uh, getting our heart pumping a little bit, <laughs> and then we go into the conference area. Yeah. So the conference yeah, area is can... located here on the second floor. Uh, we yes. will be seeing Actually, we should start from the reception area. So let's see yeah. from the 
Indeed, Anna, I have been so many times in corporate events in the Clarion. It has been, um, you know, a buzzword since it reopened or it opened a while back. And it's certainly uh, a favorite as well for event organizers. Uh, definitely, has a lot of capacity. And as we are looking at the floor plan, uh, we can jump directly to the spaces that interest us. Um, so mm -hmm. here we see a lot of the breakout rooms and uh, we could just take a look at the style, for example, of the tall, let's do the Tolberg uh, space here. So we can see the 360 view on uh, the design and also during hybrid meetings. Uh, this space works really well because we can control the amount of light um, in this space and have the screens uh, portraying also the speakers. I mean, there's already two fixed screens, so it works works for us, really. And as you can see, um, the classroom. Yeah. Yes, welcome, Sila. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's been always the fact that these are very popular for breakout rooms. And we can notice later on that the signage outside these rooms are very clear for everyone, especially when they are undecided which breakout to go to. Exactly. And here we can see from the details of the meeting room that it's uh, called Makassini uh, event venue. And uh, that is the second floor that we just saw that we arrived to. And actually, you know, I do really like the ambience of the space because it has this industrial feel that we already talked about. Um, this is the area where we get welcomed once our group arrives. So it is also the place where we have the coffee breaks. And as you can see that very kind of cool and modern uh, stylish design is also presented here. We can see a little bit more of the classic uh, Scandinavian designers items here and the view again. Adriana, it's been very often that I find myself going outside the particular balcony, just breathing in fresh air, maybe coming out from the crowd and maybe chatting with a good um, friend or two outside. And you can see a beautiful backdrop of the dockyard. A hundred years ago, also, since this was, uh, used to be a dockyard of Helsinki and still is. Definitely, you can see some of the large ships also sometimes, you know, in the area. And what's great about it is that you can take the group directly from the hotel uh, on a, one of those boat trips around Helsinki Archipelago as well. And uh, not much has actually changed, you know, in terms of uh, the COVID safety distances uh, since last year. So it's still that 1.5 to 2 meter distance that we are keeping. And also we are serving teas and coffees directly to our guests. So that's our best practice, uh, I would say, recommendation for those that are planning these events. And here you can see how you can place the tables, you know, with the enough distance. And also you can have the standing cocktail tables here instead. Um, or just move individuals to one of these breakout rooms and, um, you know, spread the, the groups around the actual second floor. So here's another uh, example of the space that we can use for lunch break as well. Uh, here you have the setting already and you can even have some remote team activities running on that screen. So you get everybody energized like Haka is one of the most popular virtual uh, energizing events that clients are booking as well. And then you see projectors are here easily already placed. So um, all the AV is attached to the, the location. And we can see from the meeting room features a little bit more about that. Um, so it has the latest technology and natural daylight, which we like to hear. And now with hybrid and virtual events, we do eliminate the daylight. So some of our requirements have changed a lot during last year. I agree, Anna. But uh, before we move forward, I would just like to welcome some of the organization associates that are here with us tuning in, um, as well as on Facebook Live. And of course, the executives of the Clarion are also here with us. So thank you so much. And if you have any questions, just add your comment on the chat box. And um, Anna and I will guide you through the web, through the visualizer visit flow. 
definitely. So welcome the guests from uh, Paris, Germany and UK. Uh, happy to see you here again. I mean, we have our weekly webinar, so it has become quite a regular feature that we take our favorite venues. Um, we choose some of the venues also that you have recommended for us to show. And, uh, and we showcase how we are planning those meetings in these spaces and what we have done here previously. So this is one of our, I would say, the most um, popular ballrooms in Helsinki. So it is actually really spacious room and it caters exceptionally well to our hybrid and, and virtual event staging needs as well, because as you can see, um, that darker ceiling creates an uh, effective way of controlling light also in this space, you know, for, for the screen and for the virtual events that we are organizing right now. But also for hybrid, um, we are seeing uh, that this space is getting a lot of uh, requests. So, so that's why we're also recommending it here. Um, the number of screens that are in the space are one of the reasons why it's so popular <laughs> at this moment. Uh, you see that from everywhere you can have the speakers um, tuning in and you can even segment, uh, section this into three spaces. Yes, I know. I've had um, a few big names right on this stage, a few personalities flown in from New York and even California, Silicon Valley. And, you know, the atmosphere can change very fast and very well according to the light. So you could have a really good conference here, um, seated like this with social distancing, of course. And in the evening, you can really have a, even an evening function with a, um, a song stress or a really intimate um, cocktail tasting and, you know, the brewery that we're famous for in Finland. Exactly. I mean, a lot of those uh, microbreweries have become now quite easily attainable for events. So you can have your own tastings, as you said. Um, we have organized with Pacardi quite a lot in uh, Central Europe and uh, mainly in Finland, it's been with, with our local providers. So these are popular, popular you know, event themes currently. And especially because you can have your, your chef on the screen here and then um, little stations you know, around it in the same room. So it gives a lot of opportunities. Uh, to, to Thank you, Anna. I, I, before I forget, let me mention the acoustics. Of course, you can highlight the acoustics information on the same page, but we've had a violinist, we've had um, organ and piano players on the stage right in that uh, particular room you just presented. So in fact, it's, it's very good high quality acoustics. It is. And then what's really easy for us as well is that for every meeting planner that gets, you know, their visualizer, um, they can also choose from this capacity chart um, which room or space is most suitable in and which setting. So if we look at the U shape, which is our most popular uh, setting during the COVID, and then also the, the classroom styles, uh, theater styles, um, you can immediately see if that space is good. I mean, these are pre-COVID numbers, so we just take a quarter quarter of that um, as an ideal number currently with the social distancing and apply that to, to our event. So here we can, you know, expect to maybe have a little bit more than a, and a quarter, you know, I would say as vaccinations are, are, you know, taking place. And I think we are getting enough population, I would say, in immunity, the herd immunity in place, then we can return back to this 126. Uh, we are placing bookings for uh, August onwards at the moment. So those are our kind of busiest periods uh, during during this year. So we, so we hope that that will also remain as our busiest period. It's true. As, as we are quite optimistic in the events industry, I just got in my inbox uh, that, that the UK is experiencing a 500% surge in their travel planning for summer already. Uh, it's amazing. And that event that just took place in Netherlands, in Amsterdam, uh, that they applied all the, you know, well-known security terms and measurements, you know, to, to, to do a COVID safe event. That was a, a huge success. There hasn't been any reported cases. So that also gives us a, a very positive, you know, note that 
the fate that we can also start organizing those 500 people uh, events in our regions. I mean, just applying the same kind of safety measurements as they did in Amsterdam. That was a, you know, I think great way of showcasing and giving us, uh, you know, those best practices that we need. My friend is actually yeah, have at the restaurant. Yeah. Indeed, this yep. is very exciting. Well, um, yeah. I mean, it's just that um, my sh my friend is a chef, was a chef in this restaurant, and they're really famous for their warm hospitality service. And often they serve organic food and local produce from farmers um, in Finland. And they try to be as much as possible very ecological. So as you can see with the furnitures, it's uh, very much maybe inspired by Alvar Alto and a lot of uh, wooden features here as well. And you can appreciate even just looking at this 360 degree view, um, the features that are very Scandinavian. Oh, sustainability is uh, a, a big quality mark. I mean, when you see that there are also the, the water uh, serving, you know, is done with ecologically with us. And then also, uh, you know, we see that there's also a paper being used, you know, the menus uh, that they, I mean, as much as we can eliminate paper and plastic, you know, the better. So, so Clarion is very sustainable in those sense, uh, in those terms. And I know there's a lot of clients, they also, they sometimes forget in the first brief to tell us that they need to have the, the green label you know, properties in, for their events. But since it's our industry, we make sure that those are the venues that we recommend first. Let me just point out the chairs and, and the furnitures because we are really directly looking at it. They might look very modern, but they're very comfortable. It just sits very comfortably on your, your bottom when you sit on it. And especially on the right-hand corner where you can see the view towards the harbor, it can be like a really, um, you know, very nice experience even for a cozy, intimate dinner for two. <laughs> and then you can order um, fast food also in this um, restaurant. Um, often my kids love the burger in this place. And um, in the breakfast time, there's a really okay flow of the guests coming in from the reception area. And you can maybe strategically put your um, in-person meetings um, around this area so that there is a proper social distancing. Of course, our client sales executives might point us out exactly the um, capacity nowadays for this restaurant. And of course, we can see that in the additional info page right on this visualizer visit. Um, uh, that's correct. I actually uh, take it off for a second. So if you, uh, um, if you carry on explaining about the last event that uh, in, in the Clarion, a uh, little bit about, you know, how, how the logistics work. That's correct. Um, Anna is um, on mute at the moment. So let me just um, explain further the importance of this particular room. So we've had 500 person event here from our very dedicated event organizers in Helsinki. And often um, organic and local produce is requested. And as we know in Finland, we have cloud berries, we have all sorts of berries in the forest. And then we are also famous for um, mushrooms. So guests from Italy come to Finland just to gather uh, mushrooms in the forest. And we have in Finland called um, no man, we say every man's land, meaning that you can actually gather uh, berries and mushrooms in someone else's property. Isn't that true, Anna, as well in Turco? So this is kind of an amazing thing. And it's, kind, it's world famous that um, Finland Finland's uh, border is quite porous that we allow um, foreign guests to come and forage in our forest. 
um, anything they like that should, they can bring to their home country. So a lot of culinary um, fans from Italy and France fly in just to gather mushrooms in our forest. And it's served right here in this restaurant for Clary and Helsinki. Um, I, I hope really, that- uh, you know, are with you like last time the events uh, here, one of the, I think the most kind of prominent feedbacks were about catering and, and so we can have a venue that, that you know, can be quite rustic as long as the, the food itself is fresh and like you said, the local produce makes a huge difference to the, the delegate experience as well. Um, my Wi-Fi connection is slightly uh, weak at the moment, so that's why. Uh, it might slow down a little bit of this one, but I think we're in the most hectic working period, so everybody's on a uh, right now. It's true. In the last uh, session, we talked about the importance of catering and serving proper diet to our guests. So Finland is one of those healthy capitals of the world, and we do even import our, our port to China. And we have um, in our own business, Finland Pages, um, list of food items that you can actually have in your events. And Clarion is very much counting on that um, sustainability and eco ecological um, image of Finland and, and serving something from the farms and the local produce. So it's highlighting that, especially in this restaurant. And um, so this is the breakfast room, which is connected right to the reception lobby. And in the afternoon, you can also have your coffee break and your pastries in this location. And there is, of course, um, an entrance to the upper part of the building, the second, the second floor. And um, I, I like this particular um, setting because the, uh, well, Anna is fixing her computer because um, we have an event called Pink Helsinki and uh, a group of influencers here in Finland, who is tweeting and doing social media posts um, on the location where they are. And the Clarion is one of those that they have been very happy to promote. And I think it's happening every year. And it's kind of like becoming a cult. Um, and one time um, in the Clarion, we had a long staying guest. And I think Jonas is his name. And he was experimented to live in one of the best rooms in the Clarion. And uh, guests are allowed to send postcards to uh, their friends globally. And Jonas is, is really staying 24 seven in the hotel for 365 days. And I think it went very effectively towards the marketing campaign of the Clarion. Um, of course, in um, uh, globally, uh, Clarion is um, an important brand, but here in Helsinki, it's quite loved by the locals. Um, so I guess we can say that. Definitely. Yeah. I think, you know, you really shared the epitome. I'm just green is actually trumping. So I'm, you could, Sheila, probably take the screenshot just because I must be in a really busy I know that a lot of people working from home and for some reason my Wi-Fi boosting uh, luckily we are always recording these and we then also look at the virtual site visit afterwards uh, by sharing the link bar I would say strengths that everybody can also view on their comfort you know from their home. So we're sharing also in the link now the uh, site visit uh, on a visualizer that we're using. So you can all, uh, you know, afterwards as well and maybe share with um, yeah. your colleagues in, case in Helsinki. To, to focus on the client. Um, definitely we haven't even looked visualizer. at the, yeah, the rooftop pool, which we have to be doing uh, very smoothly now because the rooftop pool is one of the, you know, most awaited highlight of um, a delegate's 
experience in the clarion. And so you can see that it's almost like an infinity pool on the edge. I'm not even touching my mouse now. On the edge of this pool, you could have very photogenic, Instagrammable, uh, famous photos uh, in social media where the swimmer is feeling like they're almost jumping towards, you know, um, the number of floors that the clarion has um, towards the bottom part of this building. And here in winter time in social media, you can see a lot of snow because it's winter and a lot of Instagrammable ladies are um, posing here with their bikinis and in the middle of winter. So it's really amazing. And because it's 360 degree imagery, you feel like you are in an immersive experience and you might just want to get in and out of the pool to the sauna, which is very common in Finland. Ice uh, swimming, we have a, a word invented for that in Finnish called avantu. Mm -hmm. And um, that is like something you can practice um, in Finland and around the world where there is snow. And that increases your blood circulation and really lengthens your life, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> it, that's what it says. I also read a research that you need to do uh, the plunge, you know, that cold treatment uh, at least 20 times in a, in a winter. So that would be almost every week at least uh, in, order, in order to really benefit from that. But I mean, you see and feel it from the first time already when you have the plunge, you know, into a cold water, um, especially in the ice, as it's Avanto. Um, in England, they call it Polar Bear Club. So the Polar Bear Club is really popular, again, for the same reasons, you know, lengthening your life. And then you go to sauna after that. Um, yes, indeed. You know, how in this winter, I go to the sauna nearly every day. And in hotels, you can choose uh, infrared sauna or the Finnish sauna, which, of course, is another word invented in Finland is sauna and it's added to the vocabulary and exported globally as well. Uh, we even have sauna factories in APAC, um, which is exported to Japan and, and uh, the USA and the Finnish companies, of course, managing it. Yes, and the design itself is also exported worldwide. And this one in Clarion Hotel um, has a quite an amazing view, you know, when you do your plunge and, and go into this uh, sort of an infinity pool where you see the 360 again, the views of the whole city. And I would say this is a must location to visit for anyone who comes to Helsinki. You can have cocktails also at the rooftop uh, bar. Uh, the Sky Lounge is, is, is also super, super popular amongst the locals. And uh, the Sky Room itself here, is, we see it, you know, the design is is again one of those Instagrammable locations. <laughs> right. But, but there's a Quite boardroom in the back. Um, I, I, I just wanted to highlight that for meetings and for sea level meetings, this boardroom, which is right down the, uh, you know, this corridor that you are looking at, um, that one can be privatized and the groups can have their lunch uh, or, or any kind of cocktail receptions there also. And last time I was in this place, we had a Swoman, as in the Finland's tax, uh, I would say the tax organization's uh, Christmas party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, it, it was really lovely with the DJ you see in the Clarion Loves Music. That's a DJ booth right there. So you normally have live music playing here in the evenings and uh, quite an electric crowd as well. It's showing uh, it's almost 360 degrees actually um also physically uh when you come to this uh, sky lunch and sky room you could see the harbor you could see the railway station you could see the landmarks of the city so it's very iconic and um almost nearly what everyone would go to who everyone would go to when they bring new guests to helsinki and so you have had um a lot of uh uh, mobile gaming companies being here and also across the street is of course the famous uh, Rovio and these Clash of Clans companies located so it's a favorite for uh, professional IT um, people and not just because of this uh, amazing cocktails they serve in the bar. Uh, architecturally yes the location has one of the the first modern wooden high 
buildings as in uh, those those storage buildings and um, that's something to see right across the road and then what you mentioned about the gaming companies um, yes this is definitely uh, for a lot of associations also for weekly meetings uh, a place to mingle so you know there's a lot of regular guests and that's why I mean yeah we find it in Finland as like you said one of the places to show to anyone who's visiting our country or even Helsinki domestically you know if they're visiting from other cities this is the place to be and here again uh, in the nighttime is an amazing view of the sky as a skyscraper we have in Finland and you can see the consistency of the Scandinavian design as well as the cocktails range on the bar uh, they have cloud berries of blueberries and all the local produce coming from Finland and the Nordic countries are served here. Yes, uh, and uh, you can ask about the design from the Clarion uh, sales team themselves. I mean, there, there is a lot of uh, details here that are very unique to this hotel. Also, each room, which we haven't yet looked at, um, has a unique uh, design themselves. So when we have our groups here, we have a lot to offer in terms of the location and also the amenities and, and catering, the culinaristic uh, experiences. I think you're referring to this room probably, Anna, um, as one of the breakout rooms. So here is a 360 degree image. And uh, here you, we can emphasize also the beautiful uh, ceiling structures that they have preserved from 100 years ago when, you know, this used to be an old dockyard where the ship can actually anchor themselves to the building. And that's in itself is very historical and people want to create meaningful events. They want to have a history behind it um, as it is kind of like well loved. And um, and now um, without moving my mouse, it lets me uh, see the building, the rooms, the interior, the colors and the use, very simple. And then you can at, actually feel the vibes of it being a Scandinavian design. And you have a lot of the design from the design school as well. So what you see in the corners and here, um, they're actual art pieces. So some of them are for sale as well. Um, we know this, there is one U-shaped uh, chair in the lobby area of the, the meetings. And uh, that's actually quite a popular place to, to take that picture. You know, um, I would say most people who have been in this area will <laughs> have that picture already. So um, what I like about this visualizer as well is that when you click the screen, uh, you can choose if you do the full screen view. So that would then eliminate all those um, you know, the titles or the tabs in the top. Um, so that's one of the things. But another one is the sharing element. Uh, we can share this with a unique link. It's such a unique link that if you zoom on the right side of the picture at the same time, you can see the link changing. So it actually gives you an opportunity to highlight something very specific in this, for example, an art piece or, or setup or screen or maybe a, a projector to other event organizers. And on the top, there is another link. And that one is, well, this goes to 181 locations directly from the presentation. But also when it says embed to your own website, your own page, the, this part of the link is something that you can use for the events website to market and highlight the venue that event has chosen as the location. So then for those that are still uncertain about whether they want to travel to the event or whether they are interested in the hotel itself, um, they have a chance to familiarize beforehand on the event website on 360 mode, you know, how this property looks like. So it's, it is a marketing and selling tool also for the event organizers in that sense. And we use it quite a lot in our presentations when we do, um, whether it's PowerPoint or whether we do other presentations, we add this link and highlight all of the details here that we want to showcase to our uh, corporate and association clients um, when we are comparing properties. Usually we compare three to four venues before we make the final decision. Should we bring them now to the bedrooms overlooking Estonia, the neighboring country? There are a few bedrooms where you can actually glimpse a neighboring country because even though we are in Finland, the Baltic Sea is right out there. Definitely, and again, the views are imma uh, immac immaculate. And what you said about the room features, you can see them on the top left corner 
and uh, and we always like to see the bathroom pictures because it does make a big difference when booking venues. We we get most complaints about two things, you know, if there's something wrong, and it's usually either food or the bathrooms. So <laughs> so when we make sure that those two are you know immaculate and nice, um, I think we are on a kind of winning winning streak. Yeah. Something very simple, Anna, is that we can highlight the fact that client might have taken a few of the paper notes and the pencils and the pens on the table because it's uh, COVID times. Um, of course, during the presentation, you can highlight those things and you could even change the photo in one, you know, in one um, by yourself or with a visualizer development team. Um, it's quite simple and intuitive that it can be changed in an instant and using the same link. Exactly, and the more photos or the more videos, the better. So we don't have a video to show here. However, um, we can always add that very easily to the presentation itself. So where you see the room features, it would have another similar box which says video, and then you could see uh, also maybe some glimpse of the previous live event or or COVID safety videos are quite popular as well. So we do like to. Um, Ne definitely you know, highlight the ambience from previous events just to, to ignite the, um, I would say, imagination and really help with. Uh, this is a unique picture because you see the ice breaking here. And we have amazing winter going on at this moment because we have had a chance to do a lot of uh, tour skating, as in skating on a, on a sea or lakes. Um, and when these images were taken, it looks like it would have been quite a similar winter as what we're having right now. Yeah, definitely. You can appreciate the fact that uh, right behind this lamp is Estonia already. And for those lovers of the sea and water, um, this is a 360 degree moving images. You don't need to navigate it. It can show the room in a very relaxed manner with you storytelling the, um, the highlights of this particular hotel. And I would we like to welcome, uh, we have our Creek colleagues also joining into the webinar, so um, we might still visit the Sky Lounge again, the Sky Room, just to, to showcase some of the, I would say, highlights of this property. So we are in Helsinki, so for those that have just uh, tuned in, you know, in the past 10-15 minutes, um, we are currently looking at a Clarion property in the harbour of Helsinki, and this is one of our favourite meeting properties in in this region so that is the reason why we have chosen this it's also very suitable for hybrid and virtual events so if you're building a stage or want hybrid elements to your uh, organization you know to your meetings um, this property would cater the AV and the technology is is very very much up to up to the bar I, I just want to highlight, Anna, that you can also pinpoint the details of this room. You know, the Alvar Alto, who is a famous um, designer from Finland, his vases are right here in the middle. And of course, you know, this is not taken, this is not part of the souvenir, but you can definitely like highlight that this is a master suite um, with very good items in it, highlighting the beauty and, you know, the um, design features of yeah, finished design. And Definitely. we are still in the master suite. And of course, you could just um, pinpoint or even change this information in particular to your guest. Um, if you want us to go back to the Sky Lunch, we definitely can. Um, as, as event planner, you can navigate the whole experience, but focus on your clients' needs, what they want to see. And, you know, we know best our clients and so we know what to highlight. And in this case, because it's quite general, I'd just like to highlight the windows that are floor to ceiling. Um, and this is also another 360 degree view uh, with a partition right here on the bedroom with, is that like a Japanese style uh, pillow? <laughs> um, yeah, you could really zoom in there and- um, Like yeah. an origami pillow. Yeah, indeed. And well, you can I zoom in so we can look at it a little bit more carefully. <laughs> Uh, I'm using a Macintosh, and yes, indeed, it looks like origami, and it's of course um, a destination that is favored by or clients from Japan and Korea and China here in Helsinki. 
very high end. Uh, you know, there's lots of comfort here. And as we highlighted earlier, uh, we are in a design property which has an infinity pool on the rooftop. Uh, it has a sky room, which is uh, highly popular with the local guests. And the cuisine is, is from local produce. And, and here you see the location is very close to the, the cruise terminals. So you can also take a cruise to Sweden from here. And um, if the group, like we have some groups, uh, Sheila, you especially have been hosting groups from Asia. Um, when they come to Europe, Helsinki is a good, good kind of like a starting point to do that, you know, tour around the Europe. So they, they would come to Helsinki and then carry on with cruise line to Stockholm and, and so forth. It's true, Anna. So for our Greek uh, clients, we're so happy to hear that, you know, Greece and Spain and Italy are, of course, favorites from, uh, from our British guests. And I think now is a good time for you to introduce your best uh, offering for your clients to visualize your visit. Yes, I mean, we have had co-hosts and venues from pretty much all over Europe and USA and uh, South America and Asia. So uh, we are each week featuring our favorite properties and theme properties. So last, last week we were doing the Valentine's Day, the most romantic hotels. And, uh, and then we also were visiting the World Expo hotels with Hilton, um, looking at what's coming up in April and this year when the Dubai World Expo goes ahead. And now we are looking at um, Helsinki, one of the most tech-friendly capitals of, you know, world, I would say as well. But especially in the Europe, you know, this is definitely the tiger of Europe with all, all the um, innovation that we have in place. And this property is perfect, you know, to showcase or do the product launch for such innovation. I agree. And using the mouse or without navigation, you can really highlight what the clients would like to, you know, to treasure. Um, because, for example, here is a cocktail bar, another one. Um, the opposite is the restaurant and the check-in is very much already in social distancing mode and you have a good painting here in the middle. So each hotel and venue has a very unique property that you could just pinpoint to clients and making sure that they appreciate what they're getting. Oh, from the previous, you can click um, also the images so you get to that cafe area. So then we can see what's at the end of the, the corridor. Yeah. So clicking on the arrows on the on your on your screen. Yeah. Um, and basically you can change the language as well. Um, because Finland is bilingual, we can switch to Finnish or Swedish right here on the right side. And if you're French or German speaking, uh, you have clients from there or Italian even. Um, we have recently onboarded um, a few event planners in from Italy. And I, I'm looking forward that our presentations and visualizer visits will be in Italian. Oh, definitely. With our partner, Jay and IT, uh, well, Jay and TI, I mean, they are very busy in the market showcasing all our visualizers that uh, we have built in the recent years. I mean, visualizer is six years old, so there's quite a lot of properties that are available. And, uh, and also one fun fact about Clarion is that there was a competition a couple of years ago where one um, social media influencer could win a year stay in this property and they have actually just finalized that stay last year um, so I happened to meet also the person who was staying in this property and I mean they were quite lucky you know to, to live in a hotel for a year but I don't know I mean I think in our industry we almost lived you know, in the same way, uh, traveling every week and staying in hotels, doing site visits and uh, location scouting. So when home, um, I do really appreciate these kind of, you know, spaces where, where you get this kind of international feel. Uh, now when we are not able to, to travel as much, you know, it's nice to visit and do our remote working from, from here. I agree, Anna. And even um, promos and news like a staycation, Clarion is very active on that. I often get in my inbox, not just for meetings, but promoting um, staycation packages for thematic, you know, um, Easter Easter getaways um, for a group of five person families. So it makes life easier when you know what to expect and you can guide your client even if they're 
or in leisure um, groups to experience the hotel even before while well, setting your foot there. Exactly. And talking about, again, clients from all over the world, we are doing our first friends webinar, so in French language, um, in about, I would say, 10 days time. Um, we're just finalizing it. So we're going to have intercontinental Paris and a few other guests also joining us. So as you have noticed, each week we bring something new and we are certainly carrying on doing the same this year as well. So it's our 12th month in action with the site visit uh, and virtual site visits. And yeah, feel free to invite you know, your guests as well and tell us you know, who you want to see here. And we are happy to, to accommodate and build the visualizer for them. I agree, Anna, especially we have French speaking guests today in our session for visualizer visit. Um, feel free to you know, join us and even um, introduce your destinations in France. We have in our portfolio, uh, portfolio a few very treasured destinations in France and French speaking countries. So we'd love you to, to come and join us. Oh, yes, the Paris Opera property was uh, one of our highlights, you know, just last month as well. And um, so what we are now uh, really doing here is uh, we are getting ready for the live events for the end of the year. I mean, uh, as you're looking at the booking calendars and availability, it's actually getting very busy from September onwards in terms of preliminary bookings, which hopefully hold. So if you are thinking of maybe having a live event, it would be advisable to, to place that booking right now because it is, as I said, getting very busy. I mean, the vaccinations are uh, going according to the schedule and which means that uh, we are opening destination and markets. And this hotel here where we're looking at Clarion uh, in Helsinki by Nordic Choice is open for business right now. So you can already place that um, you know, event here. And uh, I mean, Obviously, you can't have uh, any of those events right now at this moment. But as we are all uh, just starting to plan those events, you know, for next year as well, um, it is good to make sure that you get your spot if, you, if you're wanting to use this venue. And just to introduce the visualizer visit tool where you could really zero in on your preferred date and review um, the visits that we have had that we really enjoyed doing with you and um, in many destinations in the city. So if you have a destination presentation, you could put them all in one customized branding. If you're focused on Greece, then you could do a Greek presentation. And if you're focused on a brand, you could do the whole Clarion in the Nordics and the Baltic states. So it's up to you according to how you want to close a deal or negotiate your business. Definitely. I, I do like the video at the start of this uh, Visualizer Visit website. So we're going to wrap up for today. You know, we have really enjoyed uh, looking at those features that the Clarion Hotel provides us as meeting planners. And I hope you have also gained some information that will help you in the future when clients ask about our Scandinavian and Nordic destination. So can we uh, as said. This video, Anna? Oh, definitely. So please share the sound of the computer. Yes. Um, I am sharing it indeed. Here we go. Hey, sales pro. We know you and your buyers are going through challenging times, but we want to make things more simple. If your customer cannot travel to the site, why not bring the site to the customer? Visualizer allows you to digitalize your site visit on a 3D multimedia platform. You're having the same as I had, you know, the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Visualizer visit shows your venue's most crucial information at one glance with immersive capacity charts, satellite maps, and 3D floor plans. Your venue is presented as it adapts to customers' different needs. And with a white-labeled experience, your brand is always appropriately presented. Even when you make changes to your venue in a way or another, you can update capacity charts, layout information, 
and photos instantly from everywhere. Visualizer also enables you to add your social distance meeting regulations to the platform itself. And because Visualizer Visit is an online platform, your site's information is easy to share just with a button's push. Visualizer Visit, your digital venue. I said uh, free for all the meeting planners to use, all the DMCs, you can uh, highlight the venues in your location that you know you are re regularly giving as an option to your clients so you can just contact us if you need a specific venue to be built um, and we make sure that you get your virtual tour virtual site visit platform as well to use um, without cost on uh, for meeting planners because we are promoting the bookings and especially during covid uh, we are really trying to help with the recovery of the industry by doing the virtual site visits every week. So I hope that you have enjoyed and also welcome to join us in the next virtual tour, which is in, um, well, it's every week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Next Thursday is gonna be 9 a.m. in Central Europe, which is 10 o'clock in Finland. And uh, we will have a new co-host for that session. Thanks everyone. Have a good rest of the week. Thank you so Cheers. much and enjoy your day. <laughs> Bye.